just about some similar colors of Copics because I've just bought my first colors and I've seen that some of them are very similar despite the fact that the, the caps are not similar. So I will, before I start I would just explain a bit of the color system and the Copics uh, is, uh, is not that difficult. It's the first, uh, the, the first two digits, the letters, they talk about the, the family name of the colors. So in this example we have a yellow green, uh, the test that we do, and in two numbers that we should read separately. So we read uh, 0391 uh, to know about the, the saturation and the tone of the color. So the first number is uh, here, talks about how brilliant or how do it's a color. So we are talking about the saturation of this color. And the second number talk about how bright or how dark is this color. So it's about the tone of the color. Um, just to make a very clear example, here I separated two colors. So this one, this first one, YG91 is this. And this one is YG41. Uh, the same, the same kind of color. So here we can see perfectly the difference. Uh, this color is much more saturated than this one, and this one is a bit um, uh, darker than this one if we compare the the values of brightness and darkness. And here is, is very obvious, but for some colors is not that obvious and this is what I would like to show. So I separated here some colors. I'm not, it's not a complaint about uh, Copic, uh, the system is very good. And this uh, doesn't mean that you don't need the colors. I'm just saying that if you're just starting, maybe there's colors that you need more than these ones. So the first color is uh, the first couple of colors are these two and they are very used for skin tones so uh, I will show here how similar they they are so here the, the first one is 00, zero and the second one is YR00 zero zero. Yeah. Um, I put a lot of layers, I think it will be a better in the camera but even if you do just one layer they are very similar I let them dry a bit so we can see the other ones so if you were searching for a skin tone I would really say that these two are very similar uh, I would stay personally with this one because it's more versatile um, so the second pair of colors are these two you can see uh, it's very very different the color of the caps but the color of the ink, especially when it's uh, dry, is very similar. So here, the first one. And the second one. Let's dry a bit. Uh, these ones, I think, is the ones that are more different from the ones I, I picked because uh, this one is much more pink, this is a bit uh, uh, yellowish, I don't know, uh, violet, they say violet, I see a bit yellowish, but in the end I really think they are very similar. Other one that was a big big uh, surprise uh, was these two, because uh, they have nothing to do in the cap and they are not even the same uh, families, oh, they have no number in common, the second numbers that I, I showed you are not in common, but they are very uh, look like in the end. So this is if E40 and this is uh, label 2. Uh, especially with one layer they are very very similar. Um, here it's still a bit um, a bit uh, wet, but you can see that's almost uh, a slighter darker shade of this E40. So they are very similar. Again, I'm not saying that you should not buy 
if you really think of uh, these two, for example, they can mix, blend very well together because they are similar colors. But if you're just starting your kit, maybe you just don't need two similar colors. These ones, they are almost, almost identical in the cups. And they are almost identical in the colors too, despite the fact that the saturation number and the tone number are different. So I will just show here. This is the first one, E59. And the second one, E47. E47. And as you can see, is uh, very similar. Uh, the last ones, uh, they are again, they are not exactly the same. I'm sure here they are also used for skin tones. It's R02 and E02. They are simply uh, same tone and saturation color, so it's natural that they are similar. Uh, but they're really, really similar, more than more than I would like. So yeah, two layers, and this other one. This, as you can see, it's a bit more pink, but when they are dry, they really, really look like, they really look like. So if you're just starting your set, I would not recommend you to take these colors because they are really, really very similar. Um, it, when you expand, maybe you can, you can take more different colors. I want to do a next video, if you guys are interested, of course, uh, about the, the first colors I, I took to myself. So these ones are the ones that I will go to the store and see if they can um, change for me because I, I'm not sticking with them. These are the ones that I will um, give back, except for these two, because I really I think they are nice to blend and I really like the tone. It's a tone that I use a lot. So I hope you guys uh, like uh, the, the video and keep uh, giving me your feedbacks, it's very important. If you like the video, click and share. So bye and see you next. Mm -hmm.